Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of my how to get there series videos. Um, today we're going to show you how to go down from the Timberwolf Mountain Summit. Uh, the last video I did uh, we showed you how to come up here through the caves, through the rope climbs and all that. Well you don't really have to do that to go down because after you get all the loot that's in here you're not going to be able to go through all those rope climbs and stuff. So there's a way to go down. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, show you how I do it my way. Now there's a lot of different people that do it differently um, but I'll show you my way that I find is easiest for me. If you like it then use it. If not then do it. Uh, practice on your own and come up with your own way to do it. So uh, let's get started shall we? So what you want to do is come down this way down here and get this this loot from this guy here. They'll probably just have maple syrup if you're playing an interloper or whatever, but I'm playing that pilgrim, so he's going to have a little bit more loot with him today. But make sure you grab the loot from him. Then you're going to come up here and go down this way. You're going to come up this way. And then you're going to come down here. Now there's a trick to goading down here. It's better if you crouch. You, you have better grip and you won't hurt yourself as much if you crouch and go down okay you're gonna come over here and you're gonna come out to this slope okay now once you get to this slope you're just gonna kinda follow the slope down I would do it where you're crouched and just go down and you're gonna go take a right at this ledge down here I'll show you when we get there you're going to come down this slope though and you're going to be crouched. You might get a sprain or two going down this way so there isn't really no other ways to go down without at least getting one sprain. I haven't seen that many. Um, you are probably going to get a sprain but it's still a lot easier than taking three or four trips down from the mountain just dealing with a sprain. So we're going to go right down to this not this one but the second ledge over here not this one across but this one right over here there we go I'm actually going to stand up a little bit now and walk here you can do this part standing up just going to kind of go poop, jump down jump down walk to the edge kind of walk across here right and what you want to do is you want to go down that s this slope that's right over here, right? So you're going to go down like this and walk up. You're going to walk out on this little tiny ledge right here and back out onto another slope. And then you're going to walk down this slope, crouched. We're almost down from the mountain. Now, uh, over there is a rope climb. And I'll show you the right over there is the Mountaineer's Hut. Actually, you can see it right over there. If you can see the Mountaineer's Hut, we're gonna go down that rope, but we're not gonna take the rope. I'm gonna show you another way to go down without taking the rope. All right, so we're gonna keep going down here. Make sure you crouch. You still might sprain yourself, so be prepared for that. So as you can tell, this is certainly a lot easier than doing all those rope climbs and going through all those paths and caves with a bunch of loot on you. It's much easier to go down here. Now remember, you will be heavy, and if you're heavy, you will probably sprain yourself, so be very careful when you go down. But that's pretty much how you get down from there. Um, we could stand up now. And what we're going to do is we're going to come right around here. And you're going to watch out because there might be a wolf over here. So when you come over here, be very careful. A lot of times there is a wolf right there. Um, I'm going to come up over here past the rope climb. And on the left is a goat down area. You can go down this rope climb. You don't have to climb the rope. So like I say, there isn't really a right or wrong way to, to do this. Uh, everybody has a different way of doing it. I find this to be the easiest, quickest way for me. Now you notice it didn't take much effort to get down that mountain, but it did take a lot to get up there. 
So I'm right down here is the goading area. You want all? It's very easy. You don't have to crouch down here. Just kind of, just you know, walk and stop, walk and stop until you get down. Go over to the left and keep following it down. Right. And here you are. You made it. Now, over here is the Mountaineer's Hut. It's so easy to get down into the Mountaineer's Hut from the summit. And this is what I find the best way to do it. Like I say, there is a lot of other ways. You pick the best bait that works for you. And there's the hut right over there. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope these videos help, help you. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.